Welcome, welcome. I'm Sophia from Live Junkie Forever, and today's video is going to be my Project Pan update. This is my February 2024 update, and it's going to be another long one because not only have I used up or reached my goals on a lot of the products I introduced last month, but also I touched nearly every single item that I introduced into this project, and I have more stuff coming in. It really works very well for me in order, like having all these products. So I'm going to leave project breaks down below so you can jump around if that's all you want to do. But let's get into it because it's going to be a long one. Let me scooch over and I'm going to start with the products I actually either used up or met my goals on. The first two goals I met are actually in the Natasha Denon My Dream palette and the only goals I had in here were actually to reach pan in these two shades, Instinct and Edgy. And the reason I wanted to hit pan on these was specifically because these are the cream to powder shadows. And I wanted to work with them a little bit because I realized that they were drying out. And it is correct, they are drying out at the very top. But once you dig in a little bit more, um, a little bit more of that softness is uncovered. And so I enjoyed it a little bit more like that. I preferred these as just on my mobile lid and then covered you know, with a different shadow over it uh, or as a liner. And I am glad to have these out. Honestly, this one took about five uses in order to reach my goal. And this one instinct took seven. This is rolling out of this project. The next product I used up is actually this e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty One highlight in the shade Champagne Campaign. And I believe I was somewhere around this halfway point right here and I have used it up. I know it looks like there's a little bit left down there, but it's just not something I can actually reach. I even had to remove the sponge applicator. I absolutely hated that thing. It was absolutely useless. And I tend to do that with a lot of these uh, products because I find that that is a far better way to use it. I really l enjoyed using this. However, it was not very pigmented in my opinion. And so I needed to use a little bit more every single time I used it, which is how I wound up using it up. Once or twice, I did use it more under, uh, like all over my cheeks, under my foundation. And I mean, it worked fine, but um, this went very fast. The next product I not only reached my goal on, but I actually surpassed it. And it is this Flower Beauty Low Light Liquid Contour in the shade Light. Sorry for blinding you. So when I brought this in, I was at the base of the E, like the back of the E, like right here. I wonder if you can see that, yeah. And my only goal was to actually reach the base of the O, and I really thought that was gonna take a while. However, this is not very pigmented, and at some point there was a bubble in here, so it just dropped all the way down to this. And I think I'm actually going to um, introduce this back to finish this. So I reached my goal, but it's coming back, and I think I can actually finish this by my March update. The next palette I hit my goals on is this Charlotte Tilbury Beautifying Face Palette in the Fair to Light shade. And my goal was to, my goals actually, I counted these as four different products. My goals was to use each one of these pans 20 times and I've mostly reached that. I've only used this one 19 times. The other ones I've used 20 each, but this one failed me at the very end. Um, but I'll use it tomorrow. Today's January 28th, tomorrow's January 29th. I'll use it one more time. I just don't want to keep this entire palette in and update you next month over one use when I have so many other things that I want to introduce. Um, but yeah, I used each of these pans except for this one 20 times. You know, one use is really gonna, not gonna make much of a difference in this. So I can actually give my opinion on how um, I like these or not. I really loved using these two together, but the way I actually use it was I would either pair these two shades together or these two shades together. Sometimes I actually had to uh, combine the two blushes together. I either needed to tone down this pink one a little bit in order to use it with a specific look, or I needed to perk up this neutral one a little bit in order to you know make it go better with the look. I have discovered that with these two shades, with the neutral blush, and the pink highlighter I need a lot more than with this golden highlighter and this pink blush. This pink blush is very bold and I need the tiniest amount. So this is the one uh, pan that's showing the least um, um, wear in my opinion, whereas I can see the grid in this neutral blush uh, and then I most of the pillowcase embossing in this pink blush has worn off. So I'm actually gonna take this out and I promise you I will use it one more time. I have also used up this Urban Decay Brow Blade and what is the shade on this? I always forget, Brunette Betty and I only wanted to use up the pencil side and nothing else will roll out as you can see. I am done with this. I was actually able to use this in my entire brow at some point. I didn't realize that I would be able to do it. I thought it was gonna to be too dark, but it actually suited certain deep, deep looks very well. 
I also used up the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This is their 1.7 fluid ounce or 50 milliliter bottle. And I was somewhere, where is it? I was at this point right here and now it's completely empty. I do have a gigantic one of these, a double size of this in a limited edition packaging from like two years ago in my back stock. I haven't opened that yet. I'm going to have to, but I have another AHA product I'm bringing in at the end of this update. So I'm going to work on that first and then bring that uh, Sunday Riley Good Jeans back in. But this is done. That's a $125 product that I just finished. Yeah. I also finished this Caviar Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist. I didn't really enjoy it. It didn't really do much for me, but in trying to figure that out, I finished it. I also used up the Skin Sticks from Colored Rain. I have it in the shade 220PN. Uh, it was very easy to use, to use up rather, but it was too light for me. It was very emollient. And I think that if I gave, uh, if I bought this again, I would definitely buy a deeper shade than this because this was too light even on me and I'm fair, fair, fair. So um, I liked it. It's particularly great if you have dry skin. I would avoid it if you have oily skin though. And just so we're clear, this was new in the video about 100 items I wanna use up in 2024. And I filmed that about, I think seven weeks ago as of today. And I finished this about two or two and a half weeks ago. So we're talking about me being able to use this up in like a month. I also finished this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, there's nothing there. I have another one of these tiny ones I'm gonna introduce later on. What I'm gonna do, oh, by the way, I didn't love this. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna clean this out and there's a tart one I'm going to be introducing um, in about a month or so. And I'm going to just take a little bit of that out and put it into here so I don't have to keep opening the tart jar. I can just work out of here. So I love these jars. I'm gonna keep these jars just for that. I also finished this L'Oreal Midnight Cream. I had most of this still in here. I mean, I had reached the bottom of the jar, but most of it was still in. And I did enjoy it. I thought, smells good. Uh, I thought that this was a lovely product, very dimethicone -y, I would say. And I am actually very surprised at how expensive this is for a drugstore moisturizer. I think it's like $40, which is quite a lot. I also reached my goal on this L'Oreal True Match foundation in N1. I really enjoy this foundation. It is beautiful. I have this in two other shades. My goal was to use it 10 times and I have used it 10 times. I was right here and now I am down here. I used up this Makeup Forever lip liner in number 23. This took a lot of dedication, I will have to say. This was basically in my every look. I do wear lip liner all over the lips and sometimes I reapply it throughout the day. So, you know, it was normal for me to use this two to three times a day. That's how I used it up. So the next two products I actually am going to declutter. And the first one is this Super Goop sunscreen for the lips and I used it. I really made an attempt, but this smells awful. I hate it and a sunscreen you don't wear is not an effective sunscreen. I don't want it. I'm not going to keep using it. I'm not gonna force myself to use it. I just don't enjoy it. And the next product I'm going to get rid of, it's actually this Morphe, what is it for? Clear Supreme Brow. I tried using it. I used it multiple times. However, it is ruining my brushes and there is nothing that is worth ruining my brushes for. So this is leaving my collection. So the next palette will actually bridge the gap between products I've used up or hit my goals on and products that I actually have usage or progress on. And it is the ABH Master Palette by Mario. And my goal last month was to use up this pan right here, and I have, as well as to expand the pan in this one, but I've actually used this up. So I've used up two shadows in this palette. My goal for this entire project was to hit pan in this one. And as you can see, I have hit pan in that one. I um, had pan uh, previously to introducing this in my in this project in Bronx, and I hit pan in Muse. Uh, my goal was to actually hit pan in this. However, the two pans I failed to hit were in the shades uh, Fifth Avenue and Kim. These two I tried using, they're not my favorites, and I did not hit pan. What's surprising is I had zero intention of hitting pan in this uh, pro in the shade right here, Hollywood, but there we are. As you can see, there is a shiny pan there. So with this palette, my goal is to continue using it. I'm going to try and uh, expand the pans in these two shades right here, so in Muse and Bronx. Uh, if I can use one of them up, that'd be great, but I'm not going to force myself because these shades are not really 
seasonally appropriate right now. I would prefer these in the fall, but we are very far from fall. Um, I do want to keep using this shade right here, Claudia. I do use it as an eyeliner. Maybe I'll expand the pan in this. Maybe I'll create a completely separate pan and see how long that takes. I do actually want to hit pan in both Fifth Avenue and Kim, and I have zero intention of using up or hitting pan in the other shades. If I do, because I'm using them at the same time for whatever reason, great but my only goal uh, goals are what I just delineated. The next product I have usage on is this Merit Beauty Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. Uh, this is the Biphase Primer of theirs, and I introduced it where it was right there. Can you see it? And then now it is down here. Based on how I'm using it, it is going to take me the full year to use this, which is okay, it's fine. It's just that this is not a product that I have a lot of, um, use for because by the time I'm done with my skincare routine in the morning, I don't really need this. This is hydrating and it's lovely, but I don't really need it. The way I've been using this at all is by putting it on um, halfway through the day. If I did my skincare routine in the morning, then had to go into a deposition, you know, had to actually work. And then, you know, things had time to dry down throughout the day, at which point I'll go in with this and, you know, it gives a little bit more hydration to the skin and I can go in with the other products. But other than that, this is barely getting used and this will definitely take the full year to use up. Another product that will probably take the full year to use up is this Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fussy. I was right there when I introduced it and I've made like a millimeter of movement down maybe two at most or one and a half. Uh, this is going to take a while to use up, but that's fine. I do like the shade quite a lot. The next product I have some usage on, but not very much, is this uh, Makeup Forever Aqua Excel Color Paint in I-12. This is their silver shade, it is beautiful. And uh, what I've decided I'm gonna do on it, since my goal is to use this 20 times in 2024, I'm going to use this twice every month. That is the goal. If I can reach for this twice every month, I will absolutely reach that goal by the end of October, and maybe I'll even get to use it 24 times in 2024, but I'm not promising that. So I've already used this twice in January. My goal for February is to use it twice again. A similar product, but a different shade, is this Makeup Forever Aqua Excel again in I-80. This is a cool toned uh, pink. So my goal is to use this up, and I started here, and now I'm here. There was a bubble in there. I used this five times. I didn't use enough for it to make that jump. However, once I got rid of the bubble, I am now down here. And again, with this, I think my goal with this is going to be to use this 10 times a month in order for me to make enough of a dent where I can probably finish this by the end of summer. By the time I reach fall, this will be too cool toned. I've used this Maybelline uh, Lifter Gloss like a handful of times. There is no perceptible change in what it looks like. So I've used it, but you can't see it. Another product I have barely discernible, you know, use on is this Charlotte Tilbury um, palette. Uh, my goal with this palette is to hit pan on these three original shades and to finish this bone shade that I've, you know, pressed into it. I have used this like five times, five times only. I'm not really going to be making much of a difference in a palette like that, but I was concentrating on the other palettes. So I think that for me, what I'm going to try is I am going to set myself a goal of using uh, this 10 times in February and then hopefully I can either hit pan or finish this bone shade down here in that amount of time. Probably not, but you know, maybe I'll hit pan on it. I do have some visible difference in this Jouer uh, Cappuccino uh, eyeshadow. It's really something that is very thin in the pan and I use uh, just on the outer bits of my eyes or in my hairline. So that's what it's being used for. That is literally the only goal. Honestly, what I want is to empty this out and then use this little compact to press other eyeshadows in. So yeah. What does have discernible change is actually this uh, MAC Vanilla uh, pigment that I pressed into this little Wet n Wild pan or compact. Uh, when I introduced this, there was like a tiny little uh, pan up here, but now half of it is gone. I expect to finish with this by the end of February. I use this on my inner corner, but you know, that apparently uses enough uh, of this loosely packed product to actually make a difference. By the way, I'm only showing the products that I have actually used in January. The next product I actually have some discernible use on is this Burt's Bees uh, Tinted Lip Balm in Daisy. It is, you know, all rolled down. So when I introduced this, it was like right here. And now it is just about like down here. So very, very small change. I think 
I literally went down like two millimeters, not much. So these two products are now one. There's nothing in this because I poured it into this Rare Beauty bottle. And when I introduced the Rare Beauty bottle, it was uh, like right under the T right here. And then it was hydrating and this was not hydrating enough. So I actually just poured this in. And as a result, now both of these are in this bottle. Um, I think I'll be able to use this by the end of February. And at that point, both of these would be done. This was brand new when I introduced this. The next two products are actually the powders that I introduced. These are the NARS uh, Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powders. So I have them in two shades. This is Creek and it had no pan when I introduced it last month, but it has a very large pan now. I think actually with this one, I can finish this by the end of February and that is my goal. And this is in Cliff and again, this had no pan when I introduced this. However, I can really only use it on my under eyes and to brighten up certain areas of my face. So I think this is actually going to take me until the beginning of April to use up. Um, this is at this point going very slowly, but it is a, an okay powder. I don't love it anymore. These next two products have use on. I can't really gauge how much. This is at the halfway point now. Um, it wasn't at the halfway point before, but I didn't mark it. And this too has barely any use. It's still about the same as where it was before, but I have used them. It's just not enough. Same with this Merit Beauty uh, Flush Balm Cheek Color in Cheeky. This is really pigmented and I'm having a really hard time using it. Uh, I might have to do some underpainting with it because otherwise it is not meant for my skin tone. It is definitely meant for people who are light to deeper skin tones. Um, I'm gonna continue trying to use it seven times a month. I didn't use it seven times. I used it about five times and I just couldn't be bothered with the last two. I didn't enjoy it very much. Technically, I use this MAC eyeshadow in Kid like a few times, but this is a MAC eyeshadow. I am going to have a very hard time reaching pan. But that's okay, that's why I introduced it when I did. The next palette I met some goals on, but not all goals, is this uh, Lime Crime Venus Immortalis palette. So this is what the palette looks like on the inside. My goal was to use each of these 10 times, and I've met some of those goals. I've met that goal on Unseen, which is this black shade. I don't like this shade at all. It is very dry. Um, I use this mainly as an eyeliner. I used Echo six times, Moth, 11 times. I do like this one. It has some dip as a result of using it 11 times. Marble, I've used 18 times. Not only does it have a dip, but I've actually reached a uh, pan on it. Uh, Unveil, I've used 10 times. Will not use it again unless I'm using it in my hair. I don't enjoy it. Ash, I've used twice. Hail, I've used four times. And Cameo, I've used eight times. Uh, my goal for February is to finish up with this palette with whatever I need to get done on this and then put it away. I, again, don't like these two shades right here. These are very dry matte, so I don't intend to use these, but the rest of these are actually very good. Um, I may even depot this palette at some point. Not sure because once I depot something, it's just never the same. I never reach for it anymore. My goal with the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star bronze and glow is to use it a hundred times total however i choose to use it and i am not halfway yet uh halfway there yet but getting close uh, i've used the bronzer 24 times and i've used the highlighter 19 times and if my math is correct i have used this uh 43 times so i think that i can actually uh roll this out by the end of march if i continue using it the way i have continuing with bronzers i have used on this NARS Laguna bronzer, cream bronzer in Laguna One. My goal is to use this 10 times a month. So that way by the end of the year, I'll have used it 120 times and you know, I'll, I'll be finished by then. I do love this bronzer, so I'm not in a rush to actually use it up because I will just be buying it again. I just need to get it out of my collection because it's been in my collection for um, a little bit over two years at this point. So that is really the main goal here or by the time I've used it up, it'll be two years, whatever it is, this is lovely. It still smells fantastic, it works beautifully, and my goal is, again, to use it 10 times in February. Let's move on to the Merit Beauty Bronze Balm in Quince. I have been using this. I used this 14 times out of the 10 I intended to use, and eh, I'm doing well. Um, however, I really hate applying it, like, you know, as a stick, and so what I did was I actually cut some of it off. As you can see, there is a blunt cut there, and what I did with that is actually I cut some of that off and I put it into this Mario uh, Makeup by Mario compact and I have some product there. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to remove 
all of whatever remains here, which is not a lot, and put it into this compact because it's just a lot easier to use that that way. And I'm actually going to introduce its sister later on in this uh, update in order to, you know, put them in together. Another bronzer I want to update you on is this uh, NYC, <laughs> NYC Beauty. That is so old. Uh, bronzer, I think this was the Sunny Days bronzer. I have expanded the pan. This is going to take me a very long time to use up. This is very warm. And this is going to be something that I can predominantly use in the summer or when I'm fake tanning. Um, the any, t any difference I've made on this has been solely because with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, it's a little bit more cool tone, so I can use it more towards the inside of my cheeks or my face, and this I can use more on the outskirts of my face. And just so we're clear, I've used this 11 times in January. My goal is to use this about 10 times a month. When it comes to this little Ciate London highlighter in Moon Dust, I have used it 11 times as well. I am having a very hard time with this. It is very chunky. I think at some point when it's warmer out, I am going to use it on my collarbones and my shoulders. I don't enjoy it as much on my cheeks. You know, we have progressed and advanced from formulations like this and I have better products than this. So I will work on using this up, but not necessarily on my face all the time. When it comes to concealers, I have two and I have progress in both. A Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots uh, Corrector Concealer and Serum. I, you know, it's best to gauge it like upside down. I started right here and now I'm down here. My goal is to reach the bottom, bottom of the silver stripe. And I think that maybe one or two more months and I will actually be able to achieve that. The goal is not to use this up because I am trying to rotate through my concealers this year. And if I concentrate on one, I'm just never gonna be able to do that. Plus that is not very old in my collection. Uh, same thing with this Dior Backstage uh, Flash Perfector Concealer in 0N. Uh, I started right here and I am now here. Please ignore this little line down there. I made a mistake. And my goal is to reach the base of the O in Dior. Uh, this is going to take significantly longer to use up. This is a harder product for me to use. It is very light, but I don't very much enjoy it under my, um, under my eyes very much. It does settle. When it comes to lip products, I have this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in Coconut. You couldn't see that there's a gap when I introduced this. It was, I don't know, probably somewhere down here, but now you can see a gap at the very bottom. Goal is to use this up. Probably will take me a few months to use it up because this shade is far more appropriate for the summer, I think. The next one I have barely any progress on is this L'Oreal uh, Color Riche Lipstick in Ferris Nude. I use it a couple of times. You really won't see much of a difference. I'm just gonna continue using it as I see fit. Really no reason to rush through it. It is a very beautiful product. So I'll finish it hopefully by the end of this year. That is the goal, uh, fingers and toes crossed. Same thing with this MAC uh, Powder Kiss Lipstick in Reverence. I use this only a handful of times, going to take me the full year to use up, which is fine. I'm not really rushing that. When it comes to this MAC uh, lipstick in Russian Red, I've used it twice. <laughs> I'm going to have to use this quite a lot more than twice a month in order to use this up because that is the goal. Again, this never came in this packaging. I actually, um, you know, there's a way to change packaging of lipstick. You freeze it, you take it out, yada, yada, yada. It does not change the formula. I'm only working on one eyeliner right now. It is this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Overdrive. I was supposed to use this seven times and I have. No, actually, I think I use it eight times. My goal is to reach this point. Uh, I'm going to have to step that up because I'm not gonna be able to reach that point by the end of this year if I only use this seven times or eight times a month. So I'm actually going to increase that usage to about 10 times a month. And I hope to see some difference by that point. I'm working on three lip liners right now. I was working on four, but I used one up. So hopefully I can use one more up in in uh, February. I still have this Makeup Forever uh, High Precision Lip Pencil in number 11. This is a really lovely shade in my opinion. I use this less than five times because I was concentrating on its sister in number 23. I'm going to try to use that a few times in February but not uh, gonna push it because I'm actually concentrating on this uh, Jeffree Star birthday suit one. I've used this multiple times already and have used quite
quite a lot of it, I would say. It is an okay shade, it's just a nude shade. So hopefully I'm going to finish this by the end of February. And the last lip pencil I'm working on is this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in 714. I've actually had to sharpen this four times. I kid you not, four times. I thought this was gonna be very difficult for me to use and if I were using it as a red lip pencil, it would be. But what I've been doing is I've been wearing this all over the lips and putting on a cool toned pink lipstick over it which turns it into a warm coral. Holy guacamole, I love that shade so much. I'm actually wearing it in the last video I posted. It is my 2023 Project Pam finale. I will probably finish this by the end of February or at the very latest at the end of March. The next product I've been working on is this It Cosmetics Brow Power. And the reason it's already extended out is because I have a brand new one to compare it to. And I have used it the slightest bit now. I've been using it basically nonstop for the last week and a half and I've made the teensiest, tiniest difference in this. And I'm going to put up a picture because it's just so interesting. Can you like line up? And you can see that there's a difference, sure, but it's so minuscule for how much I've been using this product. This product does take a full year to use up. There is no way around it and I'm going to continue using it. It is actually a very beautiful product. I really wanted to introduce this one as well, this brand new one, because it is a deeper shade. It is a uh, universal dark brown. However, I think I'm going to keep it new so I have it as a comparison to the one that I'm using right now and maybe work on it next year. The last couple of products I do have some use on are these Pixie Skin Treats Retinol Tonic. Let me show you, I was at this point and now I am here. I wasn't using this every day in, certainly, you know, you don't use retinol every day. I wasn't even using it very consistently in January. I think I'm going to try and use it more consistently in February because in March, I want to introduce a different retinol product into the project. So my goal is to hopefully finish that by the end of February or at the very least by like the middle of March. When it comes to the fragrances I'm working on, I'm working on Ellis Brooklyn Fable. I was a little bit above this, I'm a little bit below, doesn't matter. My goal is not to rush the fragrances. I don't want to hate these products. I just want to roll through some of the products that I have. This last one is actually my Diptyque Do Sun. I have decanted into this and and I am wearing it today. When I introduced it, I was like right here and now I'm right here. I don't want to mark this vial at all. And uh, my goal is to actually use up two of these vials this year and then I will have only like about another two vials worth left for next year. I do love this perfume and it is very expensive. I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to be introducing some products anyway, and that is because I really need to work through these products. So the first one is this e.l.f. Matte Primer, uh, Matte Party Primer. It's this very small one. I have been using it a little bit. Shouldn't be an issue to use this up completely by the end of February. The next one is a foundation, and it is a usage goal because I am trying to use to cycle through my foundations and use them 10 times each. This first one is this House Lab Triclone Skin Tech Foundation in the shade 040 Fair Neutral. This is a little too light for me for most of the year, so I do wanna get some use on it now. My goal is again to use this 10 times. And then at the same time, what I actually want to use is this new Revlon Illuminance Serum Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 15. I have it in the shade 117. Again, way too light for the rest of the year. I wanna use it now, again, 10 times. I do still have another cream bronzer I wanna introduce, and it is this other Merit Beauty Bronze Balm, and this is in the shade Clay. And I have gotten some use on it already, and this is a slightly deeper shade, and I actually really want to use this alongside its sister. What I'm thinking of doing is possibly smooshing half of this in with the other one and getting some use on it that way because I do prefer to use it out of the pan that I have it in right now. When it comes to powder, there are two I'm trying to introduce. The first one is this Guerlain Meteorites. I was working on it like all of last year and I was not able to finish it. I have just a single layer of these left. I do want to finish this by the end of this year. This is going to be a really long haul product because those take forever to use up. So my goal is to spend the next 10 months, 11 months using this and hopefully get it out. This is very, very, very old in my collection, probably close to eight years. And alongside with that, I actually want to use up this e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder in light pink. I am right here, so I've marked it on both sides. What I like doing is actually taking a little bit of this or any powder and putting it in this one right here. So 
This is a finishing powder, but if I'm trying to use it as a setting powder or a dusting powder, I have to use an actual setting powder with it. And this is too dark for me to use under my eyes. Yes, it's a light pink powder, but it is just too deep for my, for my under eyes. So I'm going to try and finish both of these together. And I think that's feasible. When it comes to blushes, I have a handful I wanted to introduce. The first one is this Tower 28 uh, Beach Please Blush in Magic Hour. I have used this a little bit, but not very much. And these spoil so fast. So I've had this for over a year, about a year and a half. It is time to use this up. My goal is to finish this by the end of summer, uh, hopefully. And because I already rolled out the Charlotte Tilbury blush palette that I that had that like bright pink shade, I want to work on this By Terry blush in uh, Beach Balm. I have never used this. My goal is to use this blush 30 times this year. That's it. Just use it 30 times. That is the only goal at all. I don't anticipate finishing this by by the end of February at all. And since I worked out that Charlotte Tilbury blush palette, that face palette with the really bright blush, I also want to work on this by Terry one. Uh, my only goal is to use this 30 times this year and I think that's feasible. I don't think I'm going to be finished with that goal by the end of February because <laughs> because I'm also introducing this palette from Pat McGrath. This is the cheek palette from last year's holiday. Let me show you what this looks like. Um, this is the cheek palette. I think it's beautiful. My goal here is to use each of these 20 times, literally nothing more than that. By that point, by the time I finish that goal, I would have reached into this a hundred times. But I think that between all of these blushes, I. <laughs> I'll be busy. I'll be busy on the blush front. When it comes to lip products, I am introducing two. The first one is this Urban Decay Native Lipstick. I, this formula is so old, I don't even remember it. This is how much I have left. The reason it looks like there's red on it, I'm sorry I didn't wipe it, is because this is the lipstick that I'm wearing over the uh, red lip liner. So I'm bringing that in so I can pan that um, actual uh, look. And then I also want to bring in this lipstick. This is the Kosas. Uh, lipstick in high cut it I literally bought it it was like brand new and immediately broke and I'm not having any of that my main goal with this is to I, I have to use this up but I doubt I'm going to use this on my lips I think I'm going to use this predominantly on my cheeks at some point um, it's just that this is not a very good quality in how it's able to keep up uh, I do have some eyeliners I want to bring in. The first one I'm bringing back is this Urban Decay Game of Thrones uh, eyeliner in the shade Midnight, The Night King. This is what that looks like. This is perfect for the winter, so that's why I wanna bring it in right now. Goal is to use this 10 times. 10 times, yeah, 10 times I would say. I also want to bring in this Sephora 12 hour colorful crayon in the shade, what is the shade on this? Coconut. This is a little bit warm toned for my uh, waterline. So I wanna see if I can make it work in any way. If I can't, I'm going to declutter it. My goal is to use that 10 times as well. And the final one is this Urban Decay 24 seven glide on eye pencil in psychedelic sister. I actually have to sharpen this, believe it or not. And this is what that looks like. Goal is to use this 10 times as well. Really trying to rotate through products here. I'm also bringing in this Pat McGrath Divine Rose palette. And the goal is to actually make 10 looks with this. Would you open 10 looks with this? But my actual goal is to use it alongside the Master Palette by Mario. This is what these two look like together. And I think I can use the Pat McGrath in order to you know, bring some freshness into the Master Palette by Mario. That one is just too dark for me, but I think I can make these work together. So again, 10 looks with the Pat McGrath. Um, that would be about seven more looks that I've made with it to begin with. And the final product I'm bringing in is this First Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. I am right here, I will mark it. And that's it, that's all the products I'm bringing in. I will see you in my next update, which is going to be in a month.